Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for the week of February 24th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, by the way, Scorpio, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, tonight, I'm doing a special reading for the daily, so you might want to check that out. I'm doing a um, personal-ish reading, as I'm calling it. So I'm doing all signs as if it were a personal reading, and uh, it's going to be a little bit longer, a little bit more special. So definitely check that out. But uh, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you here, um, you start off with the Hermit here and the Nine of Swords. So um, your first row, it's kind of like an interesting reading, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, you, you start off with your first row here. You have the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Cups. This could be like feeling left out in the cold. Um, you do have the Five of Pentacles as well which is feeling left out in the cold. So some of you could be just feeling left out from a person, or you could be like feeling like something is missing. Um, the end of your reading, much more positive, Scorpio. So I would definitely stay till the end, but the end of the reading is like something coming back into your life here. Um, you literally have the judgment card to me, which is like a return of something to your life. So I feel like there could be some sort of return, something you feel like has been blocked from you maybe for a long time, especially with these first cards, Hermit, Nine of Swords. It's kind of like a very withdrawn energy, the Hermit card could say that you've been like trying to find some inner answers or some inner light. And the Nine of Swords could be like as to why um, you have experienced certain disappointments with that Five of Cups that's also in this first row. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Swords here and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this to me looks like someone who's like pulled your, their energy away from you here, Scorpio. So I feel like some of you could be experiencing someone who has like pulled their energy away from you. Uh, it could also be like maybe... You know, again, if you're not interested in love, it could be like your job not working out or you could feel like weird at work and as well. You could feel like maybe you're not getting paid enough or maybe your efforts aren't being rewarded enough in business with this Six of Pentacles. So I feel like some sort of like ghosting situation with this Queen of Swords, not really a card of ghosting, but I read intuitively and, and that's what I'm getting here. So I feel like some of you could be in a ghosting situation. I feel I do feel like this person might try to come back, um, basically, if you're dealing with a person as well. Five of Cups, your future row is the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and a Judgment card. It's like someone has regrets, they left you out in the cold, and now they're trying to come back with that Judgment card here. So I do feel like for some of you, this could be like someone trying to come back from your past with these cards here. Uh, next, you have the Five of Cups here, Scorpio. Yeah, this person was maybe a player as well, so someone who maybe played you here, Scorpio could be trying to come back from your past five of cups with the net of wands it's like they um but they're like having regrets but they're still a player <laughs> so i feel like some of you could be dealing with that situation here scorpio uh for others this to me would represent like some sort of friendship loss or you could be feeling sad about some sort of friendship loss as well with these two cards or you could be feeling left out in the cold like i said um you know this this whole first row here is just you possibly feeling like you're missing a certain energy or missing something in your life. I, I just get missing something. So I feel like some of you miss something. And again, even if it's not love, it could be something else like money or something along those lines. Uh, next, you have the Four of Pentacles here and the Emperor. So kind of like trying to create a plan. I feel like if, if this is financial for you, I feel like you're creating a plan of hard work. Your center card is the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is like working very, very hard t towards a goal. It's a card of like having faith as well. To me, it's a card of um, like unwavering belief that something is going to be successful for you. Uh, again, if this reading is not about love, which, you know, I should stop doing this, Scorpio. I keep um, kind of like putting multiple messages into readings. I, I mean, to me, this is like feeling left out in the cold. Like I said, it, to me, this is a love reading. To me, it's like someone left you out. I feel like they're, they're still a player. I feel like they have regrets, but I feel like they're going to try to come back with that judgment card, plain and simple. But I feel for others, you know, if this is financial, I feel like this is saying that you have like developed some sort of belief or you've been looking for something almost to believe in as far as work or finances is are concerned. It's like you're looking for something where you can put your energy in. You have the Ace of Wands here as well. So I feel like you're looking for something that is your like inner calling, something that makes you either feel creative or it makes you feel like you're having a new beginning with that judgment card as well. Uh, but to me, this is like hard work. I feel like this is saying that you are probably working hard towards uh, creating more stability in your life with that Four of Pentacles. The Emperor card 
you know, could just say you're following a plan to do that. Uh, like I said, your center card is the Knight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. I do feel like this could be love coming in for you as well. Uh, you have, if you're like looking for love, you have everything here. You have fire, air, you have water, earth, pretty much everything. So it could be anything coming in for you. I feel like this is saying you need to trust your intuition at this time. But that Knight of Pentacles is also like a card of unwavering faith. This almost looks like you know, the second half of this reading here almost looks like the seed of an idea. It's like you have some sort of idea in your life, or it's like you kind of see something as your life purpose with that judgment card. You see something as your inner calling, and this is you kind of like seeing the potential with the high priestess. The high priestess to me just is literally just something entering into your unconscious awareness, or entering into your awareness in the first place, and you just see it as something that could work <laughs> in your in your life. So I feel like some of you, you see something. I feel like it gives you hope. I'm just getting the word hope on this Knight of Pentacles. Um, again, Knight of Pentacles, not really a card of hope, but it is a card of unwavering belief, which is to me, like hope or faith, you know, uh, just having, just believing that something is going to work out. So I feel like you believe something on a very deep level here. Uh, next, you have the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, looking to turn your situation around here. So I feel like a lot of you are looking to go from this to this, obviously, Ten of Pentacles, a major increase in your finances. Uh, to me, the Five of Pentacles is a card of, of sanctuary. Like, this is a church, and these people, all they have to do is go inside that church, and they will get those pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, it's like your sanctuary is, as far as finances are concerned, your sanctuary is either in searching or like seeking, like almost like page of swords type of energy, being curious about your life purpose or being curious about what you need to do with your life. So I feel like a lot of you could be embracing that energy. You could be doing like a lot of learning, a lot of self-education, a lot of personal development. It could be a lot of just like trying to find your place in the first place with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles means like finding treasure. And so I feel like a lot of you could be trying to find your treasure, like going on a treasure hunt of life in general. For others, if you were left out in the cold in love, the Ten of Pentacles to me is like the best love card in the deck. To me, it says you have found someone who is a perfect match, someone where you feel a very deep connection with that person. Uh, next, you have the Three of Cups here, Four of Swords. Yeah, it could have been a third-party situation for some of you. And that Four of Swords is just saying maybe you're taking a break at this time, Scorpio, from love because of it. For others, this could say that you've just been on a break in general. Like I said, how weird is it? You go from this Five of Pentacles, like needing to go inside the church, right? He's inside the church right here. Here's the, the window right here. And it's like he's taking a break. So he went inside and took a break from something that hurt him. And now he's kind of resting, relaxing. And then the Three of Cups here would say that he's, I feel like he's going to be uh, stepping out into the world with this Three of Cups. Very weird message, Scorpio. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like this is you kind of like moving on to some sort of celebration or happiness. I feel like friends could be very helpful for you as well at this time. It's like it's almost like there could be friends coming in to help you. Even that Knight of Wands. Like I said, if that's a player for you, Scorpio, it could be a player person. But the Wands cards to me can also represent friends coming in and kind of like support from friends as well. So I do feel like there could be a lot of support coming in for you. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Wands and the Temperance card. Yeah, I feel that you have been very patient here, Scorpio, for kind of like the seed that I was talking about earlier. So if you've been like look, hoping to find something that will make you money, like job or business-wise, I feel like you've been very patient in finding that. If you are looking for love, I feel like this is saying that you are being more patient. I feel like it's saying you need more of a spark. Like, I feel like you're just not willing to jump into anything right away. So I feel like you're more kind of like open to the spark or you're looking for someone who kind of creates more of that spark in your life with that ace of wands. So I feel like you're just being more patient. I really... I. Like, I like this reading for you, Scorpio, in a lot of ways. It's like, it's kind of like weird. It's This is probably one of the weirdest readings I've ever done for you, Scorpio. And But I also kind of like it as well. I think the reason that I really like it, actually, is that hermit card. Because it, it's like saying, you know, yeah, like someone could be coming back from your past who left you out in the cold, like I said, who was a player. And they could be trying to come back. But I feel like you've done a lot of, like, soul searching here with these cards. It's like you're not willing to deal with anyone who doesn't provide this spark. So that's what I feel for you here, Scorpio. And uh, finally, again, you have this uh, judgment card in the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, you know, now that I see this Eight of Pentacles, it's like some of you with these cards here might just be focused on money. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, really good for money and increasing your income. So I feel like a lot of you are kind of just working on that. I would say if there is someone coming back from your past, I feel like this Eight of Pentacles is saying, like, maybe you would take this person back, but I feel like you're just paying attention to the details with the Eight of Pentacles more. It's like maybe there were certain things that you missed from the past 
uh, with this person, but it's like now you're being more focused on like the small little things that this person does. I don't think it's like paranoid or I don't think you are being paranoid or anything. I feel like you're just paying attention, plain and simple. Um, for others, I feel like this is you working on your inner calling. You know, Eight of Pentacles is mastering a craft. And the judgment card is your inner calling. So a lot of you could be working on some major projects, especially with that, um, especially with that Ace of Wands there. You could be working on a creative project, a new project. You could be working on a personal project, a business, pretty much anything. And I feel like there will be a lot of success for you with this Eight of Pentacles here, Scorpio. Yeah, definitely love coming in as well. Um, I would say if you don't, if you're not picking someone from the past here, then I would say that there's definitely new love coming in. I feel like you're a little bit more. I, I almost want to say skeptical, but I don't. I don't think you're skeptical. I feel like, like I said, with that Eight of Pentacles, if new love is coming in, I feel like you're just paying attention to things that maybe you didn't pay attention to in the past. Too many detail cards here is what I'd say, Scorpio. Like I'm surprised the Nine of Pentacles isn't showing up here as well. The Nine of Pentacles to me is like the card of analysis. Um, well, really, the Seven of Pentacles is the card of analysis, but Nine of Pentacles to me can also represent kind of like analysis as well. So I feel like that a lot of you are just being more kind of cautious. I don't, I don't even think that's the right word. I feel like you're just paying attention to the details in love. This could be marriage coming in, in your future as well. But like I said, interesting, very interesting reading here, Scorpio. It looks really good. But uh, I feel like a lot of you are just, I almost feel like saying focused as well. So I feel like a lot of you could be feeling more focused this week on things that are important. I definitely feel like someone could be trying to come back from the past with someone who has regrets, basically, with that Five of Cups. And I would also say if someone did hurt you in the past, I do feel like they have regrets with that Five of Cups. They probably were a player or there's like some sort of third party thing going on here. But uh, yeah, that's that Scorpio. So thank you, Scorpio. Very weird. Very interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be back in five-ish minutes to do Libra. So they, and I'll also, also be back at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day.